Oh, the door. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've seen them after this building before. If I remember correctly, ahead of us is the main laboratory. One last effort. I can't help but think about how far we've come. I'm excited. Alright, let's focus on getting out of here. Come on, human. Wait a minute. Does the door have a password? I just now realized. I've seen so much porn of Kay being fucked by Pearl, but he basically overpowers Pearl. And he's been overpowering. So how the fuck does he become a sub? How, why is he drawn as a sub so much? Why is he a sub? The hell? Anyway, so Dragon, you don't want to try against parsley and cheese. No? Just is... Hello, it's you again. Ah. And then I proceed to get stuck for 30 minutes on this puzzle. You see, you have to use this note to figure out that you are using a coordinate plane to solve the puzzle. Then you have to go into this room, go to this desk, to figure out that the coordinate plane is the room itself, and use this star to figure out that the origin of each room is down in the bottom left corner. So you use that origin point to go find out where the code is. See, you get three coordinates because there's only three rooms you can walk into, so you have to guess the last coordinate. It took me so fucking long to get this coordinate, and I'm so ashamed of myself. But yeah, I figured it out, so Gucci. So we're starting at 7. There we go. <sighs> Thank you. Anyway, yeah, I was just kind of me being an idiot. Uh, yeah, first try, first try. Everything else was an attempt, that was the first try. I can smell white latex, we're close. Human. You can go ahead. But how will you live after you get out? By comparison, the building has water and electricity and easy ways to get food. Uh, the only problem is that you could be attacked by latex beasts. I'm not trying to persuade you, I just thought of it, that's all. I'm just worried about you. Human. You know what would be... You know what would be abandoned? What? You, in fact, I've thought before um, about assimilating you into a latex animal so that you could stay with me. You would live and I would have a friend to talk with. But I can't be so selfish. You have your own goals. But if you trust me and continue to be my friend, I'll show you that I'll be the best companion possible. I'll take you, talk to you safely. Uh, because I like you, human. Oh boy. Alright. You're just gonna fall right behind me? I'll follow you. Please move quickly. And if you have any trouble, please ask for help. What is this? Be trembling. Cool. Okay. Well, we won't run. Fuck. That was... That's new. Um, quite fast. Oh, he has a, he has a crying face. Oh, it's so sad. Uh. I can't go around because... Can I go up? Can I go up? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I think, I think you're right, which I, I tried to do one time. Talking to him. Oh, oh! But Pearl! You gotta. You okay, Pearl? Okay, good. <laughs> I was close. I was too close, I had no other choice at the time, so I tossed you. It's good to see you successfully escaped. They completely ignored me and had to shoot for you. Sorry, you okay? Really? God, that was. <laughs> I'll throw you again when we're starting again. That's an easy way. God, I'm gonna hate this puzzle. Watch your step. Okay, I have to be quick on the draw. Burl, run. Aha. No notes, too. Neat. I must admit, you're really heavy. <laughs> wow, this looks a terror of my kind. I really don't want to face others of my own species. They aren't civilized and won't be too friendly with me either. I might not be able to communicate with them. But I can feel that we're close to the exit. Let's just hurry, though. A couple more rooms. Okay. Blue man. Cool. Okay, I'm guessing... Same mechanics. Fuck. Not again. <sighs> anyway, what's the transfer? That's not a good image. I want a good image. Some camera trouble. Okay, I want a good image of the red fox boy. So if... 
the game could provide that, that would be epic poggers. Here we go. There we go. Nope, I want just a good image, please. There we go. Nice. It's a horned wolf thing. It took hours for me to go through that puzzle. So, heavens knows how long it's going to take me to go through this. Anyway. I almost solved it first try, too. The first time I went through this puzzle. Which is weird, but, you know... Epic. How? You are cheating. You are cheating. It's different from where I come from. All the puzzles are red, but it's probably isn't too different otherwise. It seems like nobody's here, maybe that's good news. Please don't run into the crystals or else it'd be transferred. Too late, buddy boy. Why are you staring at me like that? What? Slippery? Really? The humans aren't patting on their feet. No, none. I had no idea. Seems I haven't learned enough about humans after all. Let's move forward. Why is this red? Why, why are those red? What's this stuff on the ground? Curious, I've never seen it before. Ah, and there's no one- Oh, this is gonna be ground where after I walk on it, I can't go back. He could have carried us, yeah. And <laughs> there's no one here either. Where's everybody? Bro, you wanna, like, carry me over? This man's pretty smart. Anyway, let's see how long it takes me to do this. Yeah, that's right. It's good. Get over here? What? What does that mean? Wait, I know it's a reference, but like... Oh, that's where the crystal was. I was not paying attention. Because there's a crystal there. Okay, so we have to start here. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Pog. Okay. Um, where to start? That's the question. Just go here. That's death, that's death. Fuck, I'm dead. See, over that, you're trapped. Can't move. Sparrow coming? Yes, he is. I'm coming to help. I was thinking of letting you pass on your own, but this looks like it's too difficult for you. Uh, Paddle's feet are so unreliable, human. Let me help you out. Please don't move. So you can actually carry us? <laughs> You're so heavy, human. Oh my god. That's it. Don't move. Let me carry you to the exit. There's so many CGs. It's so good. I saw you were very concentrated, slipping and skidding over there, so I didn't bother you. Fortunately, because of this territory of my kind, I can still be useful. Are you tired, human? It's not safe to rest here. Let's go. Oh, boy. This time we have to be speedy. Okay, so this is the last part. Anyway, different transfer. There it is. Female. We have become female. Hogs. Time to go sped and die. Horribly. This is gonna happen a lot. Oh, oh, that's... Oh. Oh. Yes, okay. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> fuck. Okay, good. Be back in this biatch. Piro, you're gonna come? No? Okay. There you are. You're incredible. Human is totally different from back when you were pursued by the tail. You've really grown. I... No. No, I have not. Your face looks pale. Are you exhausted? You've done so much. Let's go. We're almost out. I've started shaking. I'm so excited. Human. Thank you. 
Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your efforts. Without you, I wouldn't have the courage to be here. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. <sighs> We're here, or the, the hall of the main ground floor. Ouch, I bit my tongue. I have dreamed about going outside countless times before I can walk out the building on my own paws. But my heart is tranquil as water. I'm confused. Am I dreaming? I should be happy. This is a great change for both of us. I'll leave this little world and go explore a fresh, boundless world. And you, human, you've successfully kept your human body, but you're going to have to survive out there too. However, I'll be with you, even outside. I'll follow you forever. Forget about the end of the world. I'll have you, and you have me. Isn't that the best consolation in such a situation? We won't be alone. I have countless things I want to tell you. I've talked to you a lot tonight, but I've never talked to anyone before. Human, it's hard to believe that all of this happened overnight. Tonight, I found a friend, f fought with bad guys, raised with white latex, and got to the exit of the building with a human who's coming with me. This has been far more incredible than any books I've read. We finally reached our goal. Let's go, human. Let's see the rising sun. It should be early morning outside already. Let's get moving. Is what I would. Oh, we're actually going. I was going. I want to explore, my guy. Please, there's a notepad right there. Thunder! I hate you so fucking much. God damn you, you piece of shit. Are you ready? Oh, he's back. You gave me such a headache. It's still painful. So you're leaving, correct? It's still too late to reconsider. Of course, I couldn't physically stop you if I wanted to. Of course, you can't stop us. Now there's two of us. You can't stop us from leaving. We're not going to give up now. The door's right behind us, and we can't leave. At, and we can leave at any time. I won't stop you. Honestly, I simply need to talk to you. Actually, first, I need to talk to you, Snow. What is that computer doing? That is the uh, secretary's computer. Why is it facing out to the people? How is the secretary supposed to work if her computer isn't facing her? Like, bruh? Anyway. Will you listen? I don't know what you're trying to do, but you better not try and trick us again. Hey, name was Seaman. I still insist on what I said to you. If you leave now, you may uh, cast cat, 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 cat. You may become a cat the entire world. What would you do if I'm right? What did you say? How could a human bring catastrophe? He just wants to escape from the building. We've gone through so many hard hardships to be here. You can't stop us just by talking. We don't believe you. Failed sample. Do you remember the original purpose to create you and your species? You were created to stop the disease, and this human is a potential carrier. He is plenty alive. I don't believe you. You just want to intimidate him so he that he won't go out. A man with such a serious illness would not have such a strong will. I have no reason to lie to you. I have no ulterior motives. I already failed before. Neither I nor my colleague could save the world. Okay. It is believable to assume we could have the virus. However, if what he said is true, that the virus is dead, then this whole building would not have the virus. Yes. But because we have been in that capsule for so long and are still alive, we do not have the virus. So... We cannot have the virus. Anyway, neither I nor my cause could save the world. Because of the riot, research facilities were destroyed, samples escaped, treatment plans were ruined. Everything. Only I survived. Because I still had a purpose. I am no longer human, but I have been testing and observing the virus. All of these years co committed to restoring the planet. All of the hope that the next wave of humanity can survive. So the hope has a chance to be rebuilt. Only at the time, I could feel relieved. Uh, but you, you're a threat to humanity. An unexpected variable. I don't know why I ever, I never checked those capsules. Have you thought about what's out there? Thunder, now is not the time to fucking ping. Um, there, are, there are only ruins and dilapidated relics of society. Uh, so social, society, groups, families, friends, normal life, all those are a distant memory. There is nothing left. I should stop hitting my mic cord. Uh, it would be very difficult for a rocket human to survive. You may be rather fast, but that doesn't mean you, that your chances to live are high in this un uninhabitable wilderness. You will likely die. 
He won't, because I'm here. Really. I wasn't aware just how strong your friendship was. My only impression of you came from the security footage I've seen. However, how could a human and a monster live together, despite your different biology? The relationship between you two is predator and prey. Moreover, a latex wouldn't live long without a host. What would the human do after your death? How he would still be alone. His fate was not be changed would not change. Everyone dies in the end, bro. It doesn't fucking matter. Bro. It doesn't matter. When I was born, I was the same as the rest of my kin, mindlessly searching for hosts without an end. This was my one goal in life. Uh, but fate fate has turned me into the way I am now. I've gained intelligence, learned how to communicate, and discovered my own purpose. I don't need a host now. Not anymore. I'm guessing I messed up somewhere because I'm guessing that's a part where he can kill me, right? But there was nowhere to thank him or whatnot, I don't know. All I need is someone who can accompany me, talk with me, and live with me. I don't care whether it's short-lived or not. I, I'll have lived a happy life. I've worked so hard for so long just on the hope of a better future. If you end up carrying the virus out, what would I do? You and the human. I've overheard you describe him as excellent quite a few times. You remind me of myself. I've desired to be an excellent human too. You must have greatly wanted to assimilate this human. It's instinctual for you after all. However, you disobeyed these urges. You chose to befriend him. You've managed to overcome and abandon your natural instincts, even if it means certain death. And I, I just want to live to see the world restored. Soon, the humans in the shelter will be able to walk on the earth again. I'll go out and contact Helix then. I'll provide all the data I've collected from the surface for all these years and supply resources and energy stored in this building. Humanity will regain their hope, and this will be the true and this will be true before too long. Where's my water? I'm dying. All this will be true for too long. But then you showed up. Even though it's just a possibility, every possibility could induce a fatal outcome. You could spread out the virus. The plan would be terminated. And I have to wait for another who knows how many years. How long would I be kept waiting for the time? Maybe I wouldn't be, ever be able to see the day come. I've worked so hard, implementing and implementing everything I possibly could, but I still couldn't save anything in the end. What do you mean you couldn't save anything? If you turn, uh, well, uh, never mind. And you, the name was human. Uh, what would you do if you escaped outside? A fragile human like you could be could 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 die easily. Yeah, comparatively, staying out here might be a better fate. Transferred or not, you will most likely die outside. The, your dark latex friend won't make much difference. Humans are naturally weak creatures. You'll regret your decision to leave this building. Humans are socially, social animals. Finding without partners or talents is likely to result in death. So your fate is still doomed regardless of your choice. We, everyone, all of us, have changed nothing at all. We've struggled so hard. Everyone has sacrificed. But in the end, nothing has changed. I beg of you. You only need to make one more little sacrifice. Then everyone will be safe. Please. Please. There's still hope. You can't determine whether this human is still is carrying the virus, correct? You said, maybe. I'm willing to take that chance. What an optimistic latex. Uh, you don't think I hope the same thing? What is the human's decision? You. What do you think? Humanity's fate depends on you. Make your choice. Stay here or leave. Human, I won't force you. Choose what you want most. Follow your heart. Pearl will support you. Do what you believe is right. Oh. You decided. I didn't decide. It wouldn't let me move. Oh. Um. So, obviously, the better option is to leave. But because I'm going for bad endings first, we're going to stay. But, yes, we are going to stay. For now, and then we'll come back and leave, and then I guess we'll figure out how to get that last ending. Because I don't know how to get the last ending. So this is your choice. Our promise. Our friendship. Our efforts. Are you banning them, human? Human, are you afraid? Human. You should be able to understand his decision. He's human after all. Uh, he's a human, so he will sacrifice before the humans. Failed sample. Would he do the same thing in his place? This human has made the right choice. It may seem unfair to you, but this is the only way. I'm sorry. Human. Since it's your decision, I'll accept it. 
I know, compared to my ridiculous dream, uh, your species' survival is much more important. I don't blame you, human. I can complete my remaining journey alone. But no matter what, please do what you believe is right. No matter your decision, I will always support you. I trust you. I trust you will always do the best thing. I'm leaving. I, I've reached here because of you. It'll stop here, but I'll keep on going. This is my purpose, my dream. Please don't worry about me, human. Stay here. When you've proven to be healthy, everything will be okay. And I'll be waiting outside. We'll see each other again. You, the masked one. What is it? Don't hurt the human, okay? As if I'm that cruel. If I wanted, I could have killed him while he was... And it... Not gonna fucking try. Uh, but I was once human too. I couldn't possibly do that. I still don't trust him. So you've got you've got to be careful on your own, okay, human? Uh, if something goes wrong, just escape. Promise me. Do I seem that untrustworthy? You and I, I'm going now. Thank you for your companionship. You just need to be safe. That's all that matters to me. This is a, this little dark monster will remember you forever. Pearl is your friend. Forever. So sad. Sacrifices are essential. You've made the relatively cho correct choice. I appreciate it. I understand that you you were actually very unwilling to do it, but your sacrifice will not go to waste. I'm happy that the rationalism of humanity has won. I promise I'll treat you well here. <laughs> Ruins things. As long as you don't leave, that is. You can do anything you want. Alright, alright. Come with me. I'll need to think about where you'll go now. You could choose to go back to your capsule. You could hibernate until I devise a way to detect the virus. I'm already working on fixing the capsule. I believe it will be ready soon. Don't feel too much pressure. If you don't want to go back to sleep, you could also live with me. I'm very lonely too. I had to act fierce before because I had no other choice. I hope you can forgive me. Okay, follow me. This will certainly make both of our lives interesting. Would you like me to, would you like to have breakfast with me? I'm sorry, bro. Well. Well. That's been the worst bad ending so far. They just keep getting worse and worse with these bad endings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, well, time to run through the fucking crystals again. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Speed run the endings yeah yeah your head hurts whatever i just need you to speak as fast as you possibly can because i have decisions to make control alt delete nah bro dude that's 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 like uh elementary level stuff i've decided we're going to leave i say it like that that was weird oh i don't have the strength to stop you and then if you insist on this then so be it I can only pray that you aren't infected. May you live the, la, li, may you not, may you fucking not die. Uh, fuck, sigh. I didn't predict things would end up like this. I'm just trying to save you, to save everyone. Maybe this is humanity's fate. I'm powerless to change it. I'm sorry, I failed. Human. Human, ah. Human. I, we, ah, Ooh, <laughs> the noises are so good. Uh, I knew that you would choose me, but, but I'm still so happy. Thank you. Thank you, human. Human, I really appreciate it. So happy. Human, let's go. Let's leave here together. Breathe the fresh air. I, 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 I want to do so many, 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 many things with you. Well, let's go. It's time. Let's go. Move to the outside world. I cannot wait.
light fills your eyes. Different from the harsh fluorescent lights that you're used to, it's sunshine coming from the rising sun. You've seen the sunset before, and you know, and then you and you can and you and you can. Have you ever had a dream where you and you just, and you can now witness the sunrise. And you, you and Pearl are standing on real soil. You've really done it. Stepping lightly on the green grass, you and your new friend gradually start moving. The tower is slowly being veiled by other ruined buildings, bit by bit. Now you can only see the tip of the tower. Everything feels so natural, full of life and safety. You no longer feel nervous. You grab your latex friend's paw firmly. Neither of you talk, but you both have smiles on your faces. Just walking in the direction of the rising sun, walking on and on. You've walked a long, long way. The shape of the tower becomes vague. You can't tell how long you've been walking. You can't see the tower anymore. Surrounding buildings are still broken, but determined plants entwine the rebar, growing wildly. You're feeling a bit tired. Pearl has noticed. You're too tired. You can't hold on anymore. You've been through so much stress. With a small grasp, gasp, you collapse to the ground. ground. It gotta stop stuttering. You feel a little bit sick due to the exhaustion. You're panting. Human, are you tired? Don't push yourself. There's a rock over there. Let's go take a rest. Come on, lean on me. Human, we've succeeded. The world is so beautiful. I finally experienced it. I fulfilled my dream. It's all thanks to you, human. Human, is so brilliant. Being with a friend is such a happiness. I can't see any more rocks or rubble from here. I only see the roundness of the rising sun. It's bright. So bright. This view is completely different from the balcony. This time, I have my paws standing firmly on the earth. With a reliable friend. Human, you're also feeling happy, right? Human. I really fucking hope he's just sleeping. I really fucking hope he's just sleeping. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, he, he, he's, he, cause he never checked the heartbeat, so he's either dead or he's just sleeping, because he said he was really tired, because he's asleep for like 24 fucking hours. No, he is dead. Oh. Oh. That achievement image. Ooh, boy. Yeah. He died of exhaustion. Fuck. If you hate it, then you know what? Go fuck yourself. I did. Ugh, I'm going to kill myself. Uh... What, yeah, what should I do next? I play Amoris Uncensored? <laughs> okay. My decision is to press the escape button. So it's too hard to decide. That's true. No matter what you choose, it will still bring pain. Listen, I've got an idea. Little guy, are you willing to abandon your humanity? Wait a minute, I know what you're going to say. You want to transfer this human, right? Doesn't the research say that the consciousness of transferred humans are weakened or even lost? How do you think I still possess my consciousness? Though we haven't succeeded in curing humans, we've devised ways to cure other species. If the patient is not human, the disease could can easily be, can be cured easily. As long as you're willing to sacrifice, I can provide you with the drug I injected myself with. It's the result of me and my colleagues' research. It allows me to be transferred without altering your brain's structure. After that, after that, treatment will be easy. Once you finish your treatment, you will be able to leave here with your, with your sample friend. 
I could even lend you some food and supplies, as long as you can comply. Please, I've racked my brain to think of one last solution. It's all I can do. Please consider carefully. Just a small sacrifice. What do you think, human? Do you trust them? I don't want to believe him. Maybe he's just stalling for time. We don't know anything about this treatment. What if he's trying to harm you? Moreover, human, do you really want to become become like us? I won't care how you look, but you'll be changing permanently. So let's forget it. I'm sorry, masked man. We've decided. Human, do you agree? Really? You're willing? You nodded. Human, have you thought this out so thoroughly? You may never get used to unit body, and you don't even know the risks. This is a method no, with no back take backs. You'll be changed for life. Have you really decided? I don't think, uh, I didn't think that you would agree. That's great. Haha. Uh -huh. Don't laugh now. I won't move an inch from the human if you try and pull anything. I'm gonna... Never mind. Let's start as soon as possible. Since you've decided, we can now begin with treatment. However, you'll probably be very bored sitting in bed for days with only an IV drip. The failed sample may come with me too. Sorry for attacking you earlier. I had no other choice. Can you not call me a failed sample? It's angering me. It's not important. <laughs> Follow me. Let's go to my lab. Even I'll keep an eye on him. Bro will absolutely protect you. Don't worry about it. I will fall right behind you. I will reject my humanity and become monkey. I will reject my humanity for Ashina. What other what other reject humanities are there? Uh, yeah, you're Jojo one. I reject my humanity, Jojo. Uh, yep. Yeah. You decide to get the treatment. You lie on the bed comfortably. This is the first chance you've had to get a decent rest in a long time. The needle misses your veins a couple of times. What? Uh, the doctor is out of practice. Finally, the needle succeed successfully injects one of your blood vessels. A jug flows into your body, drop by drop. Next, you only need to wait, quietly. Pearl is watching you peacefully from the bedside. It's very quiet. The only sounds in the whole room are just the subtle drop drips of the drug. You stare at Pearl, stare into his cloudy pupils. He feels a little bit shy, turning his head to the other side. Time is passing, tick by tick. Sleepiness floods over your mind. You gradually fall asleep. I had a long, long dream. In the dream, you're trying to escape the pursuit of a skull-headed figure in panic. You're so scared, running everywhere. You think you can think of... Bruh, there's nobody. Uh, no one to help you. Nowhere to run. You curl up helplessly on the ground, hoping not to be seen. But you were eventually discovered. Those huge, pale bone claws seize your shorts. My shorts! And pull them off hard. Bruh! Bruh! What? Hey! Hey! What? Ah. Ah. It's just a dream. <laughs> you, you just, uh, a bone monster wants your bone. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> your body feels so heavy. I swear I've already gotten this. I got into the CGs, but it's not a dream. The figure has chased you. I've seen this in memes. That's where this comes from. God damn it. Oh. I guess she's you from your dream. Per. Perro. Perro. You went is such a sleepyhead. You slept for days. You've. You made me so worried. You smiled, embarrassed. So you're finally awake. No! Yeah, I can't your phone. Oh god. <laughs> uh. The tail is pressed under your butt. It's already feeling numb. Tail. Quit lying down. Get up and look at your new body. 
So fluffy. Hey, Pearl, we've become white. The race you've kind of hate. Are you going to say anything about that? Because you had multiple things about to say about the white race. Back when I first met you. So you want to, like, you know... You know... Correct yourself? Alright. It's not uncomfortable. It's different than you expect, but it feels alright. Human is so cute. Pearl, witness you slowly transform. It, it's so wonderful. Have you ever gotten anything? 18? No. Any weird impulses? I don't know. You're awake. No allergies. No more mutations. You're lucky. You're in a cold sweat. Why are these images in the true endings when you have to do a secret escape button press to get it? Bruh! Br br bruh! Now that you've finished your treatment, everything's fine now. By the way, I managed to find a host for your friend. We had a bio-robot that we originally planned to t test viruses with. The bio-robot is almost the same as it would be human, but it was never alive. Therefore, your dark latex friend doesn't need a host anymore. I've done all I can. Now you too. Wait, 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 hold up. They need the host because they sap the energy from the host. They're parasitic beings. It, 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 where, where is the energy coming from? It's a non-living entity. He might as well go infect a tree. Is what you're saying. No, 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 no. This doesn't fucking work. You're, you're breaking your own laws here, mister. Then why don't we just go chuck some fucking double A batteries in him? Like, every time Pearl gets well, okay, here, just toss him. Some double A's and call it good. That's what you're saying. Bruh. No. You can't. No. You can leave from here. Congratulations. Your treatment was a success. Human. I'm so relieved. Also, why is the doctor wearing the gas mask when he doesn't even need it anymore? He, he, once, he, once he became transferred, he doesn't need it because the gas isn't effective anymore. Bruh. bruh, bruh, bruh. bruh. Where's he gonna stick those double A's? Up his ass. Where else? Or else you stick things. <sighs> really? You suddenly jumped from the bed, not used to your strong new legs. You immediately catapulted to the floor. I'm hitting my mic. Stop. Ha 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 ha. Hey. You're laughing too. Ha 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 ha. This is a, a serious laugh, guys. Ha 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 ha. He hates smelling things more. <laughs> you and Pearl have left the building. The masked man who calls himself K remained, but promised to help when needed. You said your goodbyes, came in into the hall, and opened the gate. White fills your eyes. It's sunrise now. Oh, flame red burns on the horizon. Different from the harsh, fluorescent right lights that you're used to, it's sunshine. The rising sun. The rising sun? Is this Metal Gear Solid Rising Revenge? What? <laughs> <sighs> no, that's red sun. I'm sorry. I lied. Anyway. You've seen the sunset before, and you can now witness the sunrise. You and Pearl are standing on real soil. You've really done it. Stepping lightly on the green grass, you and your new friend Gladry start moving. The tower is slowly being veiled by the buildings, bit by bit. Now, you can see the tip of the tower. Everything feels so natural, full of life, and safe. You are no longer nervous. You grasp the latex on pearly. Per, 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 per. <sighs> Metal Gear first saw the boat, which... <laughs> uh, neither of you talk, but both of you... It's one of the faces. Just walk in the direction of the rising sun, walk on and on, same kind of dialogue. But this time, we're not gonna fucking die of exhaustion or virus. You've walked a long way, the shape of the tower becomes vague. You can't tell how long you've been walking. You can't see the tower anymore. Surrounding tall buildings are still broken, but determined plants entwine the rebar going wildly. You stop for a second, Pearl notices. You aren't used to your new body, these strong legs can... Easily step too far. You've tripped many times on the road. You're feeling tired now. Human, are you tired? Why are you calling me human? Hey, hey, yo, bruh. Bruh, hey. I ain't human anymore, my man. 
Come wait on me. Humans are pieces of shit anyway. I don't really care. Human, we succeeded. The world is so beautiful. I finally experienced it. I have fulfilled my own dream. It's all thanks to you, human. Human is so brilliant. Being with a friend is such a happiness. I can't see any more rocks will ripple from here. I only see the roundness of the rising sun. It's bright. So bright. It this feels completely different from the feeling of from the balcony of the tower. This time I have my paws standing firmly on the earth. With a reliable friend, reliable. You and you are also feeling happy, right? I'm so happy, bro. And just like that, we live. And have much, much, much of the gay sex. <laughs>